we're at the river right now to look for stones we can use to paint on because we want to try something different today we're not gonna use a canvas for our painting now just on a little stone so we're here at the river looking for a stone that is flat and smooth enough to paint on and after a couple of minutes searching we found this little one right here this one it's not perfectly smooth it has curves all over it but let's try it out We are at home now, we're not gonna call it a studio because we don't have one just yet. And we got here the stone that we took from the river. We also have here our acrylic paints of different colors. Since we are using something from the nature as our canvas for this video, we're also gonna be painting nature as our subject like mountains, trees, grasses, and a river because I love rivers that much and it's one of my favorite subjects that I usually paint. I grew up in the Bondocks, if you know what I mean. I see lofty mountains surrounding us every day and so I also wanted to paint mountains as the background for this stone painting. I live in a hinterland called Lilingayon in the city of Valencia, province of Bukidnon, Philippines. I recently learned to uh, love this place because it is far from the noise and the chaos of the city life and I like living in the city back in the day. But now that I'm already a young adult, I prefer to live in a peaceful environment and I think coming back home is when I realized the beauty of my own place, nature. As you can see, we're now starting to paint the main subject of our painting. This is a tree at the center. And we can do that by simply tapping the brush with the colors on the surface of our painting to put leaves. So I usually I usually paint first the leaves when painting trees. Here I used greens of varying colors or I mean varying values. So we used first the dark greens and then we overlay them with the lighter ones. And then we're adding the main trunks and the branches as well and I'm putting highlights on it to make to make it appear realistic. Okay. I'm also putting some highlights on the leaves to make it appear like it captures much sunlight than the other bushes. Overlaying much lighter colors on the darker leaves is very essential because it can make your tree much more realistic and three-dimensional. partially done with the tree and now we're working on the foreground of our painting so we'll have a river within wide grasses in our foreground i like this idea because we got the stone from the river in the first place and i think it's also significant to also paint a river in it surrounded by maybe green meadows
shading highlight on the surface of our grasses right in front of the tree to make it look like it receives much sunlight as well. back on painting the bushes of other trees i'm basically adding second layers and also highlights over them to make them come to life <music> To the grasses. I'm adding single blades of grasses randomly so we could see each one of them as if they are closer to the eyes of the viewers. I decided to split the meadows with the river running in between to further make the perspective appear much distant. And we're having uh, finishing touches over the grasses using the lighter green colors. And that's it. I think we're done. It's by the way the first ever content on our channel and if you want more unique art videos you may click the like and subscribe buttons for more art contents coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.